All right, so I had some questions and comments about how to go through and update your Packard uh, engine. You want to change the cruise control and the speed limiter. Um, you would go through and you need Davy 4 to do this and PVP. PVP stands for Packard Vehicle Pro. Um, give you a little breakdown on the status options here that we have. We got some red disconnect boxes. All these mean these modules are not communicating with Davy 4. Um, the yellow triangles, these mean that they um, are communicating, but there is a software update for them modules. The green checkbox I mean there's no uh, updates and they're up to the latest calibration. So one option they give you is to retrieve the software down here on the yellow triangle boxes. So we go through and highlight it in blue, hit the retrieve software button, and then it would download it to the computer. And then we'll get this expiration date. So what this means is it's downloaded our computer from the server and we have until this date to do the update before it's like dumped back out into the trash can basically. So how you get the PVP is you go up to the top up here and you hit this little forward arrow. We'll click on the option that says PVP. Mine's kind of jacked up there, but it's right above release notes and you can faintly see it where it says PVP. We'll go through and put in our chassis number, which is the last eight of the VIN. And then it's going to load like a window that shows like the chassis information, like uh, the whole VIN number, who the customer is, what kind of truck it is, and what the mileage is. I went ahead and changed the, these settings already, but we're going to scroll down to cruise control here, go over to the yellow box, click on it, and change it to whatever you would want. Scroll down to the speed limiter for the pedal and also for the speed limiter, change both of them. I always change both of them at the same time to whatever I want the pedal to be at. Scroll all the way down and hit save and continue. It'll go through a check option at this time with basically PACAR. Once it's all approved, you'll get basically letting you know this is where we'll get our option here to go ahead and download it. Once we get back into the software option, after updating all of our settings and PVP or parameters that we're wanting to change, you can see now we got three yellow triangles here. And then we're all the ones that needed updated or need updated or have a software revision or some type of calibration update. So what we're going to do is go through and we're going to click on each one, highlight it in blue like the transmission is here, hit the retrieve software, and then it's going to go through and download. Now as you see as this one's downloading two of five, it's going to go three of five, four of five, and five of five. Once that's done, we can click on the PCI or the PACAR common rail injection system, and we're going to hit download on it. And that's when I go through and start downloading it to our computer also. All right, so once we're here, you can see we have all of them option, all of the expiration dates on the location on the right side with the laptop shown are all downloaded to our computer. So everyone that has the yellow triangle should have an expiration date on it saying that you downloaded it to your computer. Um, as you go through and click on them, you could highlight multiple modules, but you're only able to update one at a time or by clicking on one and hitting update. So we're going to start with the VECU2. We'll highlight it in blue, go down and hit the update option. Yes, we're sure we're wanting to continue with the software. It's going to ask for verification. Is the engine running? No, it's not. Hit next. And then it's going to go ahead and start updating. So down here at the bottom, we got this progress bar. The VECU2s go pretty quick, so it ain't going to take very long here. Um, but once it gets to hundred percent, it'll go through and it should give us an option or a verification window. There you go. It's done already. It'll give us a verification window and it should give us a green check box here in a second saying that it was successfully, um, finished and calibrated. There you go. Green check box. Programming has finished successfully. It'll go back and reload our ECU list. And we should see a green checkbox for our VECU2 now. There you go. And we have it also on there. VECU2, green checkbox. And now we only got to update our TCM and our PCI. So we'll go through and we'll do the transmission next, highlight it, hit update, yes for sure. And 
verify the engine's not running, hit the next arrow, and then the progress bar down at the bottom would start going across and progressing. And then once that one's finished, it'll take us back and we should get a green checkbox for it. Um, if you guys have any other questions or any other videos you would like to see, feel free to ask. Um, like and subscribe if you don't mind. I appreciate it. Thank you.